Hello, Kaz Jim here, and I wanted to do a quick little video here uh, for you guys. This is going to be a little bit of kind of retrospective, and also kind of a little bit of answering some uh, questions that I've gotten occasionally, and that I know kind of float around uh, regarding both myself and just content creation in general. And I hope that maybe this can help settle some questions. So, uh, this past week I had a little bit of time off, and I've gained a lot of insight into what it takes to be a content creator, because obviously in the last year I've pivoted hard uh, to content creation uh, due to a <laughs> lack of job, and uh, it's become my job as a result. And something I have learned is that content creation is a lot more than people think. Uh, if you stream 20 hours a week, uh, you typically will have 20 hours of work on the back end. And I often did not see that. Uh, I do see it now, though. And it's very interesting because it's not something that you think of. You, I mean, myself, even, I thought for the longest time that, hey, you just sit there, you go live, occasionally do a little bit of work on the back end just to, you know, upgrade a visual or something like that. And it turns out that there's a lot more to it. And uh, just to kind of give you an example of how that is, I'm actually going to both give you a walk through my day while giving you a tour of my house, so kind of a twofer right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is where I start most of my days, around this time. It's around 8 o'clock right now. I woke up a little earlier than usual today uh, because Kaz's wife wanted a ride to work. So I went ahead, did that, and I'm back now. So uh, this is about the time that I'm normally waking up anyways. And I will typically spend uh, the first 15 or so minutes each day checking emails, responding to comments on YouTube for any videos I may have posted overnight or earlier in the morning. Because uh, I know, because it's a good idea to automate your uploads to make it to where you can respond to comments really quickly and so that you have enough time for your video to kind of percolate a little bit before you do anything major like going live, uh, showing up in someone else's stream, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, so that you can kind of build on the momentum. That's something that I've learned a little bit over time. So, for instance, I start stream at 9 30 my time. So typically posting my video around sometime between 6.30 and 8.30 my time is a good idea depending on what kind of content it is. Anyway, so after about 15 minutes in here of, I'll typically, sometimes 20 minutes, I'll be watching a video of some sort on a TV over there in the corner. Yeah, you can see it right there. And, uh, you know, again, checking emails, responding to comments, uh, things like that. Also responding to Discord DMs, uh, particularly uh, today is Monday. So I have a lot of kind of season snap little bits and bobs that I have to uh, respond to from the weekend event. So after that, I typically will get up and uh, I'll spend the next kind of 10 minutes kind of cleaning up, putting, you know, bedding away. We put our bedding uh, up during the day and making my way over towards the kitchen, which is fortunately for me a quick jog away. Uh, it's just about, you know, 10, 15 steps. You know, I typically either help myself to, you know, just some waffles if I'm in a bit of a rush, if I accidentally slept in. Uh, cereal is uh, kind of an in-between, and then if I have a little bit more time, I actually like uh, making myself eggs and bacon, things like that. And that's a time that I'll typically sit there and watch other streams because it's actually a good idea whenever you're a content creator. Uh, and I do this for two reasons, but as a content creator, you should always be aware of your category. You should be networking, etc. And this is the time of day that I do that type of stuff. So you'll see me in other people's streams. You'll see me watching streams both for enjoyment and this. And also, this is whenever I do a lot of kind of scouting for Cities and Snap. Because one of the big things that I do with Cities and Snap is I'll actually just kind of, you know, I'll scout out and say, okay, this viewer that I've normally seen in the category around this time normally has zero or one viewers. Now they have like four. There's some growth there. Maybe this is someone that is interested in joining Cities and Snap. 
So I'll typically go, I'll scout them out and decide, eh, maybe I could ask them or I'll decide, okay, this is just a fluke. I uh, don't think they'll quite be interested. And that's not just from a, oh, they should be so good perspective. It's more just a, uh, do they have the ability to carry a conversation while building? And that's kind of one of the biggest things I look for, honestly. So then by around nine o'clock, uh, I'm making my way typically away from the kitchen and I'm either finishing up my breakfast as I go or I've already finished my breakfast and I'm making my way over here to the office, which is, you know, quick hop through the kitchen. And then I've got my office doors right here. I've got some random bits and bobs, memorabilia things up there. Uh, my master's degree up there. And then Devisi Labs, my company. This is a sign that my wife made for me. And then just some, just a fun little decorative piece that Kat's wife made for me. Love that. And then random World of Warcraft boxes because why not? Anyway, so by round nine, Alexa, turn the office to 100%. By around nine o'clock, I am here in the Kaz office. And most of you have seen the Kaz office to at least some extent. Uh, though I'll go ahead and uh, show you. I guess just a couple of interesting new angles. So over here is kind of the instrument corner. Uh, you've got, you know, Igor, the bass. You've got the cello, which I've never actually named. You've got the violin down there. Uh, or actually, no, you used to have the violin down there. That's right. I normally have a violin down there, not anymore. Uh, that's where the theremin lives, things like that. I've got a shelf up there that has my boom whackers and whatnot. The Master Chief helmet, the... Uh, the one that I don't touch. I've got the melodica up there as well. That's a fun instrument. Uh, and then over in the back, you know, that's just my tool shelf. You know, I've got a big old red toolbox with classical tools. I've got computer parts and screws and all that on the next shelf. And then down there, you get into some specialty tools, just drills and uh, soldering kits, things like that. Uh, that way my tools are there whenever I need them. And then the closet is just for storage. And the door is very broken. If you put any weight on it, it flings open. And unfortunately, there's not much I can do about it because it's just a misaligned hinge. So, eh, not the end of the world there. This is the view that I'll normally have of my day. Uh, you'll see I have a window that... Uh, right now I have a, a little bit open whenever it's hotter uh, or brighter. I tend to close that window. This window faces uh, south, so it's actually easy for me to keep open most of the time, uh, except whenever it's hot because I don't have to worry about glare. These windows stay nearly completely sealed all the time. Uh, the cats have um, rustled a little bit, so I'll need to solve that before I stream today. But uh, this is my setup, this is my view, and it's a little messy right now because I just had a little bit of a break, but I'll be cleaning this either this morning or this afternoon. And this is where I'll spend my entire stream. So from about 9 to 9.15, I'm doing kind of, I'd say last minute stream prep. And by that, I mean... Uh, doing things like making sure, okay, today is Monday, so I am streaming City Skylines. And I will sit there, I'll make sure that, you know, hey, are there any new mods, any new assets I should be aware of? Be aware of? Are there any new Paradox announcements I should be aware of? Uh, catching up on any game news for the game I'm playing that day? Things like that. And... Uh, that normally doesn't take too long, sometimes it takes a little longer, and this is the time where I'm normally transitioning away from socializing on Twitch. So, those that see me in streams, it's about the time that I'm saying, hey, yeah, I gotta peace out, sometime in that window. Uh, also, uh, throughout all of this, uh, there's always a chance that I have to do something really quick to fix a really quick bug or patch something in Polyphony that morning. Uh, there's always a chance I have to run some maintenance on the Minecraft server. There's always a chance I need to put out a quick fire on Discord. There are lots of small things like that that happen during the day. And it's interesting because you just don't think of that type of stuff. Because already uh, I am up for about an hour and a half. And I've been 
not really working the whole time. I'd say it's more like half work the entire time, which is kind of weird. I mean, I've already put in 45 minutes and I haven't even started my day yet, technically. But then we get into the actual stream. Uh, that's whenever I start my countdown at 9.15. Uh, that's whenever I'm getting my drinks. I'm putting up my green screen whenever I have my green screen up, which the green screen lives right there in that little tube. Uh, and then, yeah, we have a perfect and beautiful stream. Uh, then, after stream, I typically will spend around... I typically raid over and then I try my best to hang out there for 30 minutes or so, uh, minimum, if not more, whenever I can, but sometimes uh, other stuff takes precedence. So for instance, if I have a video I need to make, because like let's say a new mod just dropped that I need to make a video on, or let's say there is a new uh, map that looks really cool that I want to say something about, or let's just say that there's a major announcement that I need to talk about. I will be working on that, and so I'll kind of raid, and then I'll be like, okay, sorry, I gotta raid and leave, by things like that, which I always feel bad about, but I've got to uh, prioritize, uh, you know, getting the content out, and making sure I do a good job right now. So, uh, I will work on a quick video, if need be, right after stream. Sometimes I will make tweaks to my stream right afterwards, uh, and this is all just within the first, you know, 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour after stream. It really depends on the day, this post-stream time. And then that's also whenever I check on any Discord DMs because, man, the amount of DMs you get during the day is actually uh, kind of weird, and it's because it's a lot of mods that are telling me, hey, uh, this person uh, is causing issues for why reasons. And this is also whenever I'm, you know, checking Twitter, finally. I mean, I am checking Twitter all throughout the day, but this is whenever I'm seriously going through timelines and seeing what's been going on whenever I've been working. Uh, this is whenever I start watching, you know, game news, things like that, uh, for a little bit, just to kind of keep up on things I like, music news, industry news, uh, even just world news, things like that. Uh, I'll typically be doing that in the background as I'm working. Uh, if I've had to make a video th that afternoon, that's whenever I'm editing the video and doing that. So a lot of multitasking in this part of the day. And then uh, around 6 is whenever all that comes to a stop. And I'm either typically working until 6, uh, which is about an hour and a half, two hours after stream. Or, uh, I've worked for about half of that, and I spend the other half typically doing community games of some sort. And so I'll be hanging out on the Cadscraft Minecraft server, I'll be hanging out playing farm sim with folks if we were doing a community day for that. Uh, I'll be doing other things, I'll be chatting, you know, I'll be having meetings, things like that. Uh, that's a big meetings time, because that's a time when I can actually meet with a lot of uh, our European friends. You know, this is whenever we have those season snap meetings, this is when we have all that kind of stuff. Then, we move into cow's wife time. So, around 6 o'clock, uh, it's pretty much a hard and fast time for me to hang out with cow's wife for at least the next hour. Like, if I'm super duper busy, uh, I will hang out with her for an hour. But typically, we hang out for several hours. Several hours, we come hang out. And then after that, you know, we typically have our own things that we need to do, whether it's, you know, hey, I want to play a game and she wants to read, or she wants to play a game and I want to work on a YouTube video, things like that. Uh, so th at this point, it's about 9 o'clock whenever that stuff happens. And all throughout, I am checking things like Twitter, I'm checking Discord, things like that. And that's part of... Uh, what happens throughout the day because you know even as I hang out with my wife uh, just kind of chilling uh, you've got a lot of uh, tweets that you've got to respond to you've got DMs you need to respond to because otherwise it just piles up and you can't afford to let that stuff pile up but that time with Kaz Life is so fun for me and you can actually see all the stuff I dedicate to my fun free time I love movies uh, I love all that kind of stuff. I love video games. I love my consoles. I absolutely love it. I 
cannot get enough of it. I've always loved video games. You can see I've still got a lot of my original Nintendo 64 cartridges up there. Uh, you can see I've got a whole bunch of the movies, a whole bunch of new video games, things like that. I love that stuff. I've got the PS4 down there, the Xbox One, the Switch up top. I've got the PSVR that I basically got for free. Can't say no to that. I would never have bought it, but hey, I got it for free, so I won't say no to that. And then all of the just controllers and equipment that go over there. And, of course, the Kaz Cat Corner. <laughs> They've invaded most of the house, but that's like their main home base here in the main area of the house because that's where their big tree is. That's where their carriers are for when we have to take them to the vet, things like that. We heat them out so that they're more comfortable with them. Uh, and then obviously, you know, windows. Right? We tend to keep the actually, by the way, there's windows back here. <laughs> I had to put up this these curtains. Uh, they're blackout curtains. They're huge. It was very expensive because they were really thick ones. But I had to do so because there's actually windows back there. And I like having a good movie watching experience. And I'm sorry, it doesn't matter how dark it is or if what you do with your blinds, it's going to annoy you. So I've got some nice thick blackout curtains getting rid of all those windows. And I mean, there's a, a set of windows right there. Then there's a set of windows right here. This set is significantly smaller, but they're there. So I've just kind of hidden them. The only way you can actually tell is if you get really close over here. I'm not going to do that, though. And then you kind of look parallel to the wall. You can see that there's window trim that goes along the top. But I think I did a pretty good job of hiding that overall. Anyways, so again, that's whenever we'll have dinner, things like that. But then, 9 o'clock, I am... Typically back to work for another hour, hour and a half. And that hour, hour and a half is typically spent doing YouTube stuff. Uh, this is time that I will also be doing some research. This is when I will uh, do recordings. This is when I'll do editing. This is when I will do a lot of smaller things. And then at 10 o'clock, uh, 10.30, I typically do a mixture of hanging out with Kaz wife for a little bit longer before she goes to bed and uh, doing my music. Because uh, remember, I'm a musician first and foremost. I'm a composer. So that's whenever I will do stuff like that. And again, this is a typical night. Uh, there are exceptions to this, such as whenever I have rehearsals and all that. Obviously, you know, COVID-19 right now. So <laughs> rehearsals are canceled for now for me. But yeah, this is a... This is the time whenever I will sit there and kind of work on that type of stuff. That's whenever I'll, you know, write a little bit, uh, and I'll typically do that wait past her she goes to bed until at least, I'd say, midnight or so. Sometimes 11.30, but normally at least midnight. And it's kind of a fun time for me because I can be a musician or I can play video games. I can have whatever fun I want. And then uh, typically around midnight to 2 a.m. or so, that's whenever I will, you know, just play video games for fun. That's whenever I'll play my, uh, you know, I'll play World of Warcraft. I'll play on the Cascraft server some more if I haven't already that day. That's whenever I'll play random games. That's whenever I'll test new games, things like that. So already, yeah, you know, there's a lot of time in there for me, but you can see that I have to kind of check things a lot. And that's something that you don't realize until you actually do the content creation game is even if you have spare time, it's not truly spare, spare time because you often find yourself, and this is a little bit just myself being guilty of this, but, you know, checking Twitter, responding to DMs, things like that, just being active in your own Discord and responding to things. And it's actually, you know, I do love it. I really do, but it does show you just how much it takes of your day sometimes. Anyway, so that's a typical day. Uh, Fridays, obviously, I sleep in a little bit, I relax a little bit more, but I also do a lot of work on Fridays. Fridays are whenever I do a huge swath of my YouTube work each week. I will typically spend at least a couple hours working on YouTube stuff, at least an hour or so working on stream stuff, and they'll usually spend the other half of the day playing video games, doing music, uh, things like that. And also, I forgot to mention, all throughout all of this, I also have to manage things such as up, and this is all throughout the week and Fridays and weekends. I'm also having to update websites. I'm having to manage websites. I'm having to do coding for my company, DVC Labs. Uh, and DVC Labs itself is probably, mm, it's pretty light right now, but I'd say five to 10 hours a week 
No, I'd say five hours a week hard cap is what I have to do right now for DVC Labs, just kind of maintain where I am and push forward towards company goals. And then I would say... I would say past that... Yeah, I think that's actually it for a normal week. But salaries are a different thing. That's season snap, but that's info for a different video. I'll be doing a separate video on what it takes to do cities and snap during the week. Because also, obviously, during the week, I'm helping manage cities and snap stuff. So, yeah, that's... We'll go into more details on that in a separate video. But I just wanted to kind of give this insight into... Uh, kind of what it is to create content, at least in my context, and also to kind of throw away the veil of mystery for anyone that enjoys the concept of, you know, creating their own content. And even I would like to say that, you know, uh, past that, it even acts as kind of an informal house tour of sorts, uh, or at least a basic one of the Kaz house. Anyways. Uh, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, push this to upload, but I'm really glad I had the chance to do this and I really wanted to do this because again I've had that perspective ever since you know taking a few days off last week uh, And I really can't thank you guys enough for all your support uh, throughout the last nearly year of Kaz streams and Yeah, until next time. This is Kaz Gem signing. Oh wait before I say that Make sure to like the video, subscribe to YouTube if you haven't already, and if you haven't already, check me out on Twitch. If you're somehow discovering this video, go find me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash kazgem, links are below. But, for now, this is Kazgem signing out. See ya!